Hello, I hope you're well. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the booktube backstage tag and I was tagged by Margaret over at Margaret Pennard whose channel information I'll definitely put in the description box for you. But there's really nothing more to say so why don't we just dive right in. So the first question is what camera do you use for your videos? And for most of my videos, I use my Olympus, which is a mirrorless camera. It's an OMD. I'm forgetting all the numbers, so I will put them down here somewhere for you. That's my primary camera for filming, but I also have a Nikon 5600, which is a DSLR that I sometimes use. That one is fairly new, and so I'm still kind of learning the ins and outs of it, but I have filmed a few videos using that one as well. So question two is, speaking about filming and being your own director, do you have a favorite film director? And I do. There are certain directors that if there's a movie of theirs coming out, I'm going to watch it. Really, I love film and I probably love it almost as much as I love reading in books, so I do have my preferences. I would say that if Tom Hooper has any movies coming out, definitely watching them. Um, I would say the same thing for Sam Mendes. I would say the same thing for Ridley Scott or Martin Scorsese or um, Steven Spielberg, Blake Edwards. So I de definitely have favorites. Unfortunately, they're all men. I do realize that. But I would have to say that my all-time favorite director would be Alfred Hitchcock. And I love classic films. I devour black and white movies like nobody's business. And there's really no one I can think of who has done as much experimenting with the art of directing. I mean, Alfred Hitchcock put parameters and restrictions on himself to kind of make him think outside of the box and do things differently, which I really respect. He was great at directing and cutting films so that they were really suspenseful and captivating in that way. So Hitchcock would be my number one, <laughs> for sure. So question three is, what microphone do you use and what program do you use to edit your videos? So I've been lucky enough that the microphones that are built into both the cameras I mentioned work fine for picking up my voice and unfortunately random sounds in the background. Um, but I do actually have a microphone that my friend gave me that I can like hook on to my collar or shirt or whatever the case may be and it works. It's just because of how I set up the camera there's like a wire dangling so I don't use it all that often but I do have a microphone in a pinch and then as as far as my editing software goes, I use Filmora, I believe it's Filmora 9, which I purchased a version of it when I decided to do BookTube. It works for me, I think it's very user friendly and um, has been a great stepping stone as I kind of experiment and learn more about editing films, but I do think that if I continue with BookTube, which is my intention, that I will probably invest in some higher end editing software at some point. But for now, Filmora 9 works for me. So question four, do you remember the first record that you bought or received as a gift? And I don't own records, although they're really cool and in right now, but I did own CDs once upon a time. And I think the first one probably was Spice Girls Spice World. If it was not that, then it was the first CD by Destiny's Child or maybe a Maya album. One of those threes, but I can very vividly picture that Spice Girls CD and I can still do that rap from Wannabe. Like that album was my thing. I was so obsessed with Ginger Spice. I even loved the like Spice Girl lollipops that they had. Does anyone remember those? <laughs> but yeah. I, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that my first CD would have been Spice Girls Spice World. So question five, 
How do you prepare your videos? Talking points, a detailed script, or just talking? I am a planner when it comes to just about everything, including YouTube, so I definitely go the talking point route. So when I'm dealing with talking about a book, I'll list a bunch of bullets about things about the book that I think you might find interesting, things about the synopsis that I think are valuable, any thoughts that I had about the book in reading it that I think might be of interest to you, and I'll kind of read through that before I start filming, and then just really the things that I talk about on camera are those talking points that stuck out to me. I don't feel that I have to cover all of them, but I do want to make sure that I am somewhat cohesive and coherent <laughs> in my talking. So I do that with something like this video, which is a tag. I'm just talking. There's no script. I just have the questions in front of me. Um, and that's the same with vlogs. I don't have a script. It's just completely off the cuff. So it really does depend on the type of video I'm filming. If it's a sit down video where I'm talking about books, whether it's a TBR or a wrap up or recommendation videos in general, there will be talking points. And I'll see, as I said, how many of them I hit when I'm sitting in this chair and looking at the camera. But that's really it. That's how I prepare. Question six. TV shows have become the thing of our time. Game of Thrones, Stranger Things, Netflix, HBO, and Amazon. What is or are your favorite TV shows ever? Name a maximum of three. This was hard. <laughs> this was really, really, really hard. Um, first, I would say The Crown, which is on Netflix and is about the reign of Queen Elizabeth II and the British monarchy. And I just love that show. I love the dramatization of sort of recent history in it. The actors that they get for each of those seasons is just phenomenal. I actually really like the way that after two seasons they age up the characters by getting different actors and actresses for it, and I just really enjoy it. I watch that over and over again. I've probably seen the first three seasons three or four times each. So definitely gonna go with that. Um, I would also say Outlander because I am obsessed with those books currently. I've seen all of the episodes. I watch them as they premiere on TV each season and I, I just love the cinematography. I love the storyline. I love the sort of period drama element of it. It's just a fun time. Um, so definitely gonna say that one as well. And for number three, I'm gonna say Elizabeth One, which was the HBO like limited series from, I wanna say the early 2000s, which starred Helen Mirren as Elizabeth the First, and Jeremy Irons was also in it, and Baby Hugh Dancy. And again, I know it's a limited series, but it is a TV show and I love it to the point that I will watch that limited series on loop over the course of 24 hours and it never gets boring to me. The acting is phenomenal, the costumes are phenomenal, the storyline, the history that's involved. I just really, really enjoy that one so that's going to be up there as well. And if you haven't noticed the theme, I am a sucker for a period drama when it comes to a TV show, which probably surprises no one considering historical fiction is my bag when it comes to reading. So this is just the equivalent on film. <laughs> Question number seven is what kind of booktube videos do you prefer to watch and why? And it lists things like reviews, wrap-ups, vlogs, book hauls, tags, or dot dot dot. Um, I mean, it's the stuff that I put on my channel. I film the things that I personally would enjoy watching. So I love watching vlogs, so I started filming those. I really enjoy watching tag videos because I think you learn a lot about the people 
in front of the camera that you might not know previously just from their reading choices. Wrap-ups are probably my least favorite thing to film because I feel like they have they require more preparation so that I have like my thoughts together but I really enjoy watching them because I get so many reading recommendations from them that way. I think the only thing that was listed here that I probably don't watch all that much of are just singular reviews of books. I'll watch like recommendation videos but I don't usually just watch the standalone reviews all that often. But that's really the only thing that I could say I don't watch as much of because I really enjoy everything else that I see on booktube. It's just fun and the more creative and unique the video the better to me. Like I love seeing people go outside the box because they're not doing it to get views in that case. It's because it's something that they're really interested in and are just really having fun with it. But yeah, that's my answer to that one. I don't know if it really answers the question to be quite honest, but there you go. Question eight. Watching TV was probably a part of all of our childhoods. These days it has become less popular. What kind of media user are you? The regular kind, I guess? <laughs> I don't really know. Um, if we're talking TV media, I would say that I watch far less like live TV than in past years. Like I'm very much a streamer at this point with things like Netflix, Amazon Prime, BritBox, which I adore. Um, so I would say that I really love films and miss going to the theater for that sort of thing because that was just an experience and once it becomes an opportunity again I am never going to take it for granted ever. Um, if you talk about other forms of media as far as social media goes I am a big Instagram user although I don't necessarily post to my grid all the time and shameless plug if you're not following me on Instagram follow me at literally smitten um, I've been posting a lot more in my IG stories so if you want to know what I'm up to between when my videos go up on Sundays and Thursdays you can find out there um, but I love Instagram I love the photography there I love seeing everyone's reels and IG stories and that sort of thing I really don't use Facebook anymore. Um, I have it still, but it's mainly because I have relatives who use it. I've never been a Twitter person. I think Twitter came along too late because I was the Facebook generation and I didn't understand like the tweets were any different from what people were putting as their Facebook like captions or whatever those are called. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, I would say out of the social media, I'm definitely more an Instagram person than anything else and I was far too old for Snapchat um, and really have no idea what's going on in TikTok, but I'm grateful that everyone puts their TikToks on Instagram. So there's all of that. Um, and then I'm also a podcast person and a music person, although my father would say I'm not but I listen to a lot of podcasts whether they are political about books and reading cultural um, I have some history ones that I listen to I kind of listen to a lot on that front to be quite honest and then I have the music that I listen to which I'm not really all that into most of the like popular of the moment type music um, but when it comes to music, I am into R&B, jazz, I love the American standards, show tunes, um, I have a th thing for instrumental, ex especially like big orchestrations, um, some opera, not gonna lie. So yeah, I'm kind of really eclectic with my music choices. But I think I've covered most media now, so yeah, there you go. Probably more than you needed, but there you go. 
Um, so I think that's actually the last question. Yes, it is. So I'm going to go ahead and tag Katie over at Katie Reads and Rants, Noel at Noel 7 Pages, Andrea or Andrea, I'm so sorry, Curly Books, um, and anyone else who wants to do this tag, to be quite honest, because <laughs> I'd love to see your answers to it. But yeah, with that, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit more about yours truly. But as always, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!